Hey everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome, as always. Today, we are here with Spellbinders, and we are going to create this adorable birthday card with flamingos. Very much a tropical theme for the month of May, and I think these flamingos are absolutely adorable. Now, you can do one flamingo, or if you do both, they will, they can uh, intertwine their necks, um, so pretty versatile. It's also got beautiful floral dyes, beautiful greenery dyes. So they are great to use, you know, on other projects, stretch out that stash that we've got and that we love to build. So I'm going to start with, uh, my back panel. So this panel is cut to four by five and a quarter, and I'm coming in with broken China distress oxide ink. And I am just uh, going around the outer edge. I'm not worried about the middle. I want that middle to stay white. And I'm not worried about a perfect blend. Here are all of my die cut pieces. Some of them are layering pieces. So like these long green, I don't forget what they're called. Palm trees? Maybe? No. Don't know. But you have this one piece that goes over the second piece. Um, so it's great. So you can create a multi-color. I chose a really bright green and a darker green for those. I am double layering the flamingos just so that they will have some stability. Um, everything else on the flamingo is just one layer. Their beaks um, are two layers as well. The black is the base and then you put the white on top. So these are really easy to put together. Now you can die cut their eyes. I just chose to cut a piece of black cardstock and put it to the back um, instead of fiddling with that little piece because I'd lose it. I'm just saying I would lose it. We're going to set the white part on their uh, beaks. And then the other part that is layered is the large, um, it reminds me of a magnolia flower when it comes to that. So once we have these two pieces here, we are going to get them onto these adorable flamingos. And those pieces just perfectly line up in that background there there's little tiny marks and we're gonna place the second one I'm not using the legs for these images because they're towards the bottom of the card so there's no need this is the layering flower love this floral here and what's great is that center point is what you're lining up it's the same image on each of the flower centers and you just layer that up. That's what you're matching and you get this perfectly shaped flower. You'll get different looks to the flower depending upon which order you put your petals to. So that's kind of cool. You know, if you just, if you put the last, the two on the bottom last, you know, you're kind of pushing back those ones at the top um, and it will give you a different look. There's no layering on the other leaves that are up there. I did use a satin uh, gold for some of the greenery just to give it a little bit of pop uh, because in each of the center of these florals, I'm using some gems um, from the Spellbinders Essentials collection. Um, these are all uh, iridescent style. So for the two large ones, I put a large iridescent gem, and now I'm adding two smaller ones um, around it just to give it a different look for the center. And then for the small flowers here, I'm just adding um, a single gemstone to the center of them. And then I'm using my pokey tool to pick those up and set those in place because 
they would fly all over the place if I don't do that. <laughs> and then once they are in the center, we will build our scene. For those of you that have been here before, you know, I love to build scenes and really build them. I've, you know, some people say, okay, that's a lot. Um, clean and simple is really not my thing. Nope. I like a lot, lots of layers. And you can see here how the, the two heads of the flamingos can intertwine, which I think is absolutely adorable. I'm just going to tack them right there at the neck for right now. And we're going to set this greenery all around them. So knowing that the dyes are going the same way, meaning they're, they're curving, there's not an opposite um, in the dye collection, you're just placing your images a little bit differently. And then I'm tacking as I go. I don't want to trim too much off of the florals once they're set. Um, so that's why I like that, that larger green leaf. I'm actually attaching and letting it run behind the gold. So making it look like it's coming from that. So I don't have to worry about the stem. These large flowers, I only, when I'm doing this, when I'm collaging, I only put glue towards the center or the end in case I want to tuck something underneath um, or tuck something through it. I still have that ability to do this. Do I go back and add more glue? In some cases, I will. If I don't, I'm just careful when I put it in an envelope to make sure that it doesn't get caught um, or anything like that. But it would take a lot for something to get caught coming out of an envelope. When it comes to those gold leaves, they're very fine. They're very dainty. So something like that, yes, I will make sure they are glued down because that's something that would just get caught. So if it's dainty, yes, I will take that time to do that. I'm only using one of the larger flowers and I'm going to fill in with all of my smaller ones. We're going to trim around the edge of this panel and we are going to get this down onto our standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then again, I'm going to grab a sentiment from my container on my table there. This is from the Spellbinders uh, Better Press Collections. I think it's the All Occasion set. And that is our card. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we can collage with our die cuts and we can have a lot of fun with it. And I did with this one. I just love layering. Um, all the products that I used will be listed down below. And if you have any questions, please make sure you leave those and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and also ring the bell so that you know when the next video is ready for you to watch. Thank you so much for stopping by and or subscribing if you've been here for a while. Truly grateful, truly appreciative. Thank you. But most of all, I want you to enjoy the art that you create. Know that it is art. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Just enjoy the process. If you get frustrated, walk away, come back to it with fresh eyes. You're going to see something that you missed and you're going to continue to enjoy it. But most of all, remember, always be creative in everything that you do each and every day. And until the next time, I'll talk to you then and take care.